Today we're going moto camping on the 2022 Bashan Bras 250. You don't have to spend big money to have a big adventure. The bras survive, no worse for wear. Mm. Wow. Giant loot bags are not fireproof. And we are actually giving one of these away. And if it's a little singy, that's how we roll, that's fine. Holy crap, that looks really good. Yoga flame! It's always skinny, it's the worms. Which actually sends a small jolt of electricity to an uncomfortable place. Mi espanol es muy malo. Hello friends and welcome back to the dork side. I'm the dork in the road and today we're going moto camping on the 2022 Bashan Bras 250. I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy so please consider subscribing. This is the 2022 Bashan Bras 250. This is a $2,000 Chinese dual sport and today we are setting out to prove that you don't have to spend big money to have a big adventure. So I've got it fully loaded up with camping gear and my giant loop luggage and uh, we're gonna see if this thing will get me up. We're gonna go camping up off of Highway 20 outside of Sweet Home at a campground and Tim's gonna come join us and it's gonna be a good time so let's see if you can go moto camping on a Chinese dual sport my guess is you can Tim is here time to see if this thing can actually get out to go moto camping this will be an adventure an adventure all right I am not gonna be able to keep up with Tim so this will be an adventure for both of us and patience for him and me trying to push this thing to its limits for me it, it does better than you think, though. I think it will get me there. I don't know if it'll get... I mean, it won't get me there fast. And, you know, I'm concerned about what happens when we start hitting... We start headed up into the mountains. But, you know, I'll just pull over a lot. Whatever. I spent a whole bunch of time on this ride talking about how it was handling the highway speeds and all that. And then I got to looking at my footage today, and apparently my, my mic and my helmet was unplugged. So I'm just going to have to tell you <laughs> as I talk over the footage because otherwise it's just wind noise. So bottom line, can it handle highway speeds? Yes, it can. It would do 60. I got up to 65. That's fully loaded with me and all my gear, probably 40 pounds of gear. So definitely over the capacity for the bike. Uh, I did not climb hills well, but a fifth gear is pretty useless except out on the highway on the flat. I had to put it in fourth and even third a couple times going uphill into the mountains. But overall, if you're in terms of transportation, it got me there. I didn't really worry about it we didn't have to pull over for anybody or anything like that so uh the, the top speed is low and it doesn't have a lot of power but it only has 15 horsepower so what do you expect the other big question is comfort how comfortable is it for long rides and i will say i was a little uncomfortable after about 40 minutes but again i'm too big for this bike and i was kind of smashed in between the bags because I'm wider than the average bear. So uh, I was not a little bit farther forward than I would like to be on the bike. And I couldn't move back and forth like you'd normally be able to shift your position to get comfortable. So I didn't have that advantage. So it was a little bit uncomfortable after about 40 minutes, but almost no more so than any other motorcycle. The seat is actually quite comfortable. It's like a memory foam and it's pretty wide. So it's as in terms of dual sport seats, it's pretty comfortable. But overall, uh, you know, it was an uneventful trip and we eventually arrived at the campground and the camping began. We made it to camp. I survived the ride up the hill. Tim is here. Tim is taking the primo spot where he can plug in his stuff directly outside his tent. Let the bras survive, no worse for wear, as far as I can tell. Camp set up. So I have a new water container I'm testing out. And this is the Sea to Summit Water Cell X because to be honest, my manta ray has let me down a few times. It's great for like filling up in camp and like using in camp, but if you fill it up and ride with it for a few days, they tend to develop little micro leaks I've discovered. So I'm trying out the water cell, see how she does. 
Uh, I already uh, stupidly bought a campsite with water in it, so it's almost completely unnecessary, but I still want to see how it does. So let's see. Bought it. I bought the campsite. Then rent it or reserve it. I bought it. It's mine forever. Rinse that out. First use. You know how it is. Probably tastes funny. Mmm. Refreshing. <laughs> that shot didn't go as planned. <laughs> This thing loves to collapse. Oh, actually, this is like we're doing some Quentin Tarantino like, camera angle. angle. Wow. That was a horror movie noise. I don't know. It is weird to drink it's, like this. It's not a Beastie Boys music oh. video. Mmm. <laughs> Refreshing. So we're headed into town to get some food. I want to get a steak and some beverages. So I hit up Safeway. It's about 15 minutes to town. Let's go. Let's see if the bras can make it down and back up again. Well, I didn't record any of that, but that was the most convoluted approach to the grocery store. I thought I was being all clever, you know, because I know my way around, but everyone else took the same route. It should have been a, a 10 minute ride, and it's been about 20 because the road construction is just like, and there's like 13 constructions going on. They're everywhere. Tim, oh man, this music is stellar. Let's pass all this expensive, good tasting stuff and go right for what we're after, which is this. There and is no we in the curves. I meant you, the audience, and me, <laughs> not Tim and I. Yeah, I don't know if that came across wrong. I'll just get a six pack of correct size cans. That'll work. Okay, I'm gonna get the ribeye because it's on sale. Giant loop cooler. Pro tip, don't put the ice on the exhaust side. Yeah. I would have had to come back. You mean to throw your I mean, sure. Whatever's easier. I mean, you've got the fastest bike here, so. Well, my back's already open. Back to camp. Will the bras survive another trip up the mountain? We're gonna find out right now. Tim is uh, talking about TikToks, which TikTok. I will do in a minute too. Um, follow me on TikTok if you haven't. Dork in the road. It's not hard to remember. My plan of putting the ice in one side of the Great Basin and just setting the beer on top of it is not keeping it cold enough. So I'm going to dump the ice into this dry bag, ironically, and uh, try to like stick the beers down in there. So let's do that. Giant loop bags are not fireproof. If that. Making it uneven and bouncing around with me. Uh -huh. Supposedly that works for 15 minutes or five minutes or whatever. I just chopped a bunch of kindling and then chopped it all in half because I'm going to use it in the Otzi stove here. The shorter pieces like this will fit down in there and hopefully I can cook a steak on this, get some decent coals going. So we're having a ribeye tonight that I got at Safeway. Actually, Tim paid for it because I paid for camping. So thanks for the steak, dude. I would have grabbed that filet mignon if I would have known. So I'm just going to season this up and let it sit while I get the fire going. Just a little salt and pepper and garlic powder. Tim has the, the seasoning. I don't know if you guys remember from the last video. He has quite the plethora of seasonings. I'm going to build this sort of upside down fire in here and let it burn for just a little bit to get some coals going, hopefully, to make this steak cook a little bit more evenly. So this is the Otzi grill. And we are actually giving one of these away. So I'm going to put up a post on uh, Instagram. So pop over to Instagram and... Uh, all you have to do is follow Otzi Gear and me and comment on the post and the winner will get one of these cool stoves. So thanks to Otzi for donating that cool prize giveaway and thanks to Otzi for sending this for me to try out. Pretty excited about it. Also, for those of you concerned about the picnic table, uh, this is some sort of fireproof, heatproof mat. So I'm not really worried about it on this table. It's also like really wet because it sits up here all winter and um, it's not like dry in a tinder box of any kind. So it's probably fine. Okay, got some decent little twigs here. And they also have a kit that they make that comes with a bunch of cool stuff. Comes with fat wood and the mat, obviously. And it's also got this jute, this jute twine fire starter, which I may need my knife to actually do something with. But yeah, just some fibrousness. And then this is the fire steel it actually comes with, with their kit. I actually got it wet in my bag, but it should still work. Look at that. Dun, 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 dun. And the cool thing about this little grill is you know, if I'm ever camping where one, I don't want to have a whole fire. Obviously you can't use this in the woods when the fire season is 
is on, but we're in a campground where they're allowed right now. But if you just want to make a small enough fire to cook something, you could boil water on this. It actually has a griddle that uh, you can put on. You can make eggs or bacon on it. The griddle that goes on there, pretty sweet. But so it has a lot of applications and the pack's so flat, it's not hard to take with you. Tim is also having steak, some potatoes and mushrooms. But he's gonna pan fry his. I'm just gonna have uh, macaroni salad with mine. <laughs> <laughs> I slaved over it. It's not hot under here at all. I have zero worries about this. Oh, good. Well, I've been working on this thing for a while. Tim's been very helpful. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get a decent bed of coals going in there, so I'm just going to cook on the flames and hope for the best. Soft wood is just ashing up and, like, filling in the bottom to where it's suffocating the fire from underneath. Not getting a lot of airflow, so I'm going to try to just cook the steak on the flames, and if it's a little singy, that's how we roll. That's fine. Story of my life. What do you think about this plan? I think it's a great plan. Do you want some butter for that? Nope. All right. I forgot you had it. <laughs> There'll be plenty of grease. It'll be flippable. It's fine. Update. I got really excited putting wood on the fire. So obviously the steak is going to be singy on the outside, but that's always a hazard of cooking over the fire. But I'm not unimpressed. I think I put way too much wood on. I should have just been using this wood in the first place. So I'm still excited to eat this, even though the outside is singy. That always happens. Holy crap, that looks really good. Okay, I think this is about done, so I'm going to take it off and let it rest for a minute or two. Now, now I'm going to build this fire up to burn the shit off of the grill because it is, uh, it's in rough shape. Things are singed. Honestly, that was fun. That's a fun way to cook. Tim's putting his steak on the pan because he doesn't want to cook over this chaotic flame. <laughs> you got flame! Actually, I should put that over. A lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Some of you like your steaks raw. I actually like mine medium well with just a little pink. So that actually looks really good to me. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good, despite all the challenges of cooking it. It's not chewy, it's good. It's got a good flavor. I just cooked well, I'm happy. I would definitely use that again. Yeah, like it's fully cooked. Look, tiny bit of pink. The outside's a little singy, but it's like a, it's like a good, sear not necessarily burnt perfect Can you guys see that look at that yeah do you know what the color of raw meat is because you do now it's always stay skinny it's the worms <laughs> so i'll link that for you like i said we're giving one away so check out the post on the instagram i'll probably pick a winner in a week i didn't film any of the cool stuff that just happened because i'm actually a youtuber but I took the Otzi grill and dumped what was left of it onto the fire. And then we grabbed a bunch of kindling and threw it on there. And then I used my freaking air mattress inflator to blow it to life. And now we have a fire and I didn't film any of it because, you know. There's like four things I have to film on every trip. Setting up the tent, cooking, making a fire. And I forgot that one. So I suck and I'm sorry. I'm a bad YouTuber and you can punish me by hitting the like button, which actually sends a small jolt of electricity to an uncomfortable place every time you hit it. So. Please hit it multiple times if you can. It's Mr. Puff Puff time. It's dark. That's the funny thing about camping in the fall is because it's dark so much earlier. So you end up sitting in the dark a lot more. Often in the summer, you're going to bed. It's still light out or just after dark. Dark is the time to go to bed. So, yeah. People always ask when I'm smoking. This is a brick house. Fumas. Um, I don't like these that much. I got them on cigar bed and a, a 20 pack for a ridiculous deal. Um, but I don't think I'll buy these again. They're okay, but I, it's, this is not a recommendation. Honestly, my favorite cigars that you can get cheap on Cigar Bid are the, the Cinco Vegas. They've actually been really good. So if you're looking for a recommendation get a Cinco Vegas, don't get a Brickhouse Fumas. I'm not impressed. What do you think, Timote? I agree. I concur with everything you said. Yeah, Tim agrees with me. Also, he's wearing a Russian bear hat. Buenos dias, comrade. You probably can't see it. There he is. Anyway, we're just chilling. I ran out of beer, so Tim graciously brought a whole bottle of whiskey that I left at my house and I gave to him when he got there. So I made a little bit of a mixture and we're having a having a whiskey cola. What are you drinking? Whiskey and iced tea? Straight whiskey and uh, some peace tea to wash it down. The iced I'm tea like, chaser. Yeah, right. Okay. Viva la Sino Puff Puff. That is four years of high school Spanish and two years of college Spanish. Mi espanol es muy malo. Si. Sí. You have some graham crackers to go with that? <laughs> no, malo <laughs> means bad. I, think, I thought it was just mal. No, muy malo. Is it? Mal is, is bad. 
Malo is an adjective bad. That's that fourth year. Right, yes. That same coffee I ground up for the BDR. I haven't used it all yet. How are you feeling, Tim? Uh, considering? What do you mean? Considering what? <laughs> considering this was mostly full when we got here. Yeah. That's good stuff, too. So I feel bad we didn't just sip it. But well, we sipped it. We did. We we're trying to. Big sips. Right. I was trying to not drink straight, so I was mixing it, which is a waste with good whiskey, but it wasn't mine. And Tim said I could. <laughs> But considering, I, I feel pretty good. Yeah, 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 me too, surprisingly well. I honestly went to bed last night thinking, this is not gonna be good. Mm -hmm. But drink a lot of water, and then woke up at 4 or 4.20ish to go pee and drink some more water and took some ibuprofen, and I think that was the move. So I feel okay. It's after nine, which I do not sleep in this late camping, so I'm actually pretty pleased with myself. Tim always does. You got oh, up at your regular time? Yeah. It's a little late early for you. Me, oh, is it? <laughs> so we're just making coffee and chilling morning. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing left to do but drink coffee. Sit here for a while. Drink more coffee. It seems like a lot of things, actually. And then eventually pack up, which is my least favorite part. Well, we tried to put it off for as long as possible, but I think the realization is settling in for both of us that we're gonna have to pack up our crap especially because we slept in so late that we don't have as long we still have ample time but i'm gonna start packing up my gear tear my tent apart doing my least favorite part of camping you ready tim I'm ready he's ready he's ready he said he was ready so he must be ready Well, friends, it is that sad moment when you realize the trip is over and it's time to head home. Uh, the bras is all packed back up. she has been a trusty steed, has gotten me through this adventure and hopefully home, fingers crossed. I'm not gonna count my chickens just yet. Uh, thank you, Tim, for coming with me and camping and having a, having a blast as always. It's been real, it's been fun. Wish I could say it's been real fun. Um, it's been real fun, it's been real fun. But, uh, and also for just being there in case, you know, this thing exploded or something on my ride. We gotta take your Tim. I don't, we've covered this so many times. I don't know why I have to keep saying it. But anyway, uh, I also wanna say thank you to my channel members and patrons without whom content like this would not be possible. Channel members and patrons get early access to videos, merchandise discounts, and other perks, including access to the after parties after the live streams. And if you wanna be, if you wanna check that out, there's a link in the description or join button right below the video. And uh, it's a dollar a month or $2 a month, whatever you wanna do. Support the channel, help me keep doing this radical thing that I like to do. and. It's my living my dream, you know, living my dream. I also want to say thank you to all of you who have clicked those affiliate links to Rocky Mountain, Amazon, Moto Camp Nerd, Giant Loop, Revzilla, and those are down in the description below too. And every time you click those links, uh, I get a little commission as a referral bonus and you get what you were buying for the same price, cost you no extra. And you get the satisfaction of supporting me, living my dream and my family and making sure my kid can eat food and I can buy campsites for Tim to camp at. So do that, do it for Tim, hashtag do it for Tim. Anyway, 
Uh, I'm going to take off. I'm going to hit the road. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. <laughs> oh, thank you. Excellent! Yeah, here we go. And away we brought. What? I don't know. I'm mixing my metaphors. Basically, we're leaving on the bus. Good times. Thank you.